This video will show you how to locate and use the watchlist function in BetAngel and this function is located within the Guardian section. So the Guardian area is this big G here. Guardian is the tool that allows you to um, bring in and do loads of weird and wonderful things with lots of multiple markets. So the watchlist feature is located within here so if we click on the G that will bring up Guardian and at the top of Guardian you will see a number of different sections. Markets allows you to import and bring in markets. Excel allows you to link uh, all of those markets to Excel so you can trade them simultaneously or in the background or however you want to do it. Automation allows you to do triggered betting and automation rules to multiple markets. Um, we've got the advanced settings over here which allow you to restrict the refresh on certain markets and then we have the watch list area. So what does the watch list do? What is it and how does it work? Well, the first thing is um, we've got a number of lists from one to five. So you can have up to five watch lists at any one point. Um, and in its most simplistic form, what it will do is aggregate all of the information that's displayed in Guardian. So if I do sync with Guardian's list of markets, this is the default setting and display selected watch list. What this will do is it will bring up a watch list and you can see here it says eight markets and this is basically all the information available uh, within Guardian but displayed in a nice neat list. You can modify how this list is displayed. So at the moment it's displaying absolutely everything uh, that's available within this list but you could actually restrict this to just one line, uh, three lines which is obviously suitable for football um, or you can hide all selections so that you just have the volume showing the match uh, information um, and then your profit within that particular uh, match. The profit information is also added up so that you can actually have um, the aggregation of all of your profits and losses across all the markets that are displayed within the watch list. Um, so as well as displaying individual profit totals and the market profit total, it will also display the entire total across all of the markets they're looking at. So this is really handy to get a snapshot of what's going on um, across multiple trades, which is perfect for football if you're trading more than one match at any one particular time. You can see here that if you don't have focus on one match you can actually hide or expand information as much as you wish within there. <clears throat> but also um, one of the areas that uh, we've improved in line with this tool in BetAngel is, is the ability of BetAngel to switch quickly from one market to another to update information quickly. So BetAngel will feel a lot slicker on this edition. So if I um, click on these prices over here, then you can see an option up here we've got is when a price is clicked, do nothing displayed on the one click screen or the ladder. You'll also see that we've got refresh market under mouse. So the way the Guardian works typically is it, it cycles through each of these markets, it goes down to the next market and then it returns to the top and carries on from there. But with the watch list, if you draw your mouse over the market it will instantly refresh that underneath so the watch list is perfect for having a good overview of what's going on across multiple positions at any one time and if you change these options up here and decide how you want the information to be displayed you can click and then it will display that market instantly um, on BetAngel for you so because BetAngel is a multi-screen application you could have the watch list on one screen and your main trading interface on the other it's up to you how you want to do it but basically you have the ability to jump between markets instantaneously and if you do a mouse over on the odds it will update the information on that market instantly you don't have to wait for Guardian to cycle through it. You can also choose how, how to display information so up here um, we can display all of these things or remove these things from the display but also if we want to we can sort the market so we could sort it uh, for example by volume so if we look at the biggest volume matches you can see that's the smallest volume because we've done it by ascending and then if we do it by descending you can see the most amount of money is traded unsurprisingly on the 108 Barcelona v Celtic match so you can sort the display however you wish um, or you can leave it unsorted in which case it inherits the, the, the order which you see within Guardian and you can also do that within selections as well so you can select by last traded price, lay price, back price, name, volume and so on and so forth. 
and you've also got a couple of other options um, up here as well so you can control the refresh rate within Guardian so even if you don't have Guardian active you can actually manipulate and change the information and the refreshing ability of Guardian within there. These icons over here allow you to do a number of things it will display Guardian um, it will flick to the one click screen or the ladder um, or it can bring Guardian back to the fore so you can basically control Guardian and all of the markets and jump in and out of them very very quickly by using just the watch list but what we can also do, I mean you can you can use your imagination here um, if we get rid of all of those underneath here um, and then we go in and we say uh, Barca, Barcelona Barcelona and Celtic what you can actually do is suck in all of those markets there whack all of those into Guardian and then you can see that they will appear on the watch list and then if you wanted to you could collapse all of those um, down into their individual um, areas within here and then you can choose to expand ones that you're more interested in so on match odds we could show uh, the front two um, we could expand others to show uh, I'm looking for the correct score actually that's what I'm that's what I really want to look for correct score is down here somewhere but you can see there are lots of markets in here perhaps some of them we don't want so if we sort by volume then Guardian will all uh, organize all of those by volume and of course we can do that on here as well so if we do it uh, by volume descending then the um, and there's the correct score market popping into view there then um, that will be sorted in order of appropriateness from here so if we want to display all of the correct scores we can or we can restrict some of that um, and so on and so forth you can see there's all sorts of uh, messing around that you want to do now at the moment we have the synced to Guardian so if I um, unsync that then what this allows me to do is to actually go in here and remove markets from the watch list directly or I can actually go over here mark loads of these and if I just press delete and you'll see over here it'll say do you want to remove these markets yes I do and um, but these markets are still active uh, within the watch list so that's because they're not synced to Guardian so if I just resync that momentarily I'll show you something else that you can do from here as well so we've got one football match um, on here at the moment but there's no reason why you couldn't link another football match to here or you could obviously create another watch list with a different football match on it or you could create a watch list with match odds on it a watch list with correct score a watch list with over and under but because you've got multiple watch lists it's up to you to decide what you want to display and how you want to display it um, but also you can mix and match uh, information within here as well so if I go into quick picks and select uh, today's horse racing which is in fact tomorrow's horse racing then what I can actually do is um, go in and mark tomorrow's horse racing and then I'm going to say watch list 2 and then I'm going to say add selected market markets to watch list and then I can display the watch list and therefore you can see that we have um, the Barcelona and Celtic match available um, but I've also got tomorrow's racing as well so if I click on that you can see we can transport ourselves backwards and forwards between each one of them within a couple of clicks and if um, obviously if you've got a multi-screen monitor then you can flick around and have multiple lists all over the place or you can just shrink into individual markets and then decide to repopulate it from there just show the front three or show the entire field it's up to you how you want to do but what I'm trying to show you here is that with the five um, watch lists that you have available you can actually put in different sports so you can have tennis racing football you can have different sports in each one of these watch lists or you can have one sport and or one market with all of the sub markets listed below it and so on and so forth so there's actually an awful lot um, that you can do from here you can pin that to the top as well so it's always on top um, and then you can actually go and pop these somewhere on the screen and on the other screen you can have um, a different setup and so on and so forth now because it's in Guardian this means that you can actually carry on and work in one market 
while the watch list is updating in the background on all of the other markets. And because you've got your P&L and all of your market information in the total P&L here, that allows you to keep an eye on it. When you do a mouse over, that will update um, straight away. And then if you want to flick into a market, then you can do so from there. So it's perfectly possible, for example, to be trading on a horse race, do something interesting on a horse race, and then skip back and have a quick look at the football in a flash. So this is very much um, a feature in its own right, but it sits on top of Guardian so that it can take advantage of all of the multi-market and management features of Guardian which go on in the background. And it adds another layer uh, to all of the trading that you can do within BetAngel because you could have automation running, you can have Excel running, you can have the watch list running, and you can still do all of your standard trading on your own screen on an entirely different market. And all of this can carry on um, in the background for you. But also to aid you uh, in this process, we've improved um, the UI on the main BetAngel application so that uh, you can switch very, very quickly between each individual market and jump in and out of markets uh, very fluidly as well. But there you go, that's the watch list. Um, have a good play with it.